Hello there. I want to tell you a little story. Eleven years ago, I took my very first cruise with Royal Caribbean. Uh, it was for my 40th birthday, which I was dreading. I had the best cruise ever. I got completely hooked into cruising, and since then, I've been on around about 30 cruises, all thanks to Royal Caribbean. Brilliant company, brilliant experience. I've cruised with them several times since. And tonight's show with Planet Cruise is a Royal Caribbean special. And we're going to take you all over the world. We have got some amazing deals and their latest ships as well. Before we introduce our two very special guests, um, you might be new to the show, Why But With Planet Cruise. Well, it's a show that's been running 11 years, over 11 years now. And uh, there are many reasons why you should book tonight. So uh, if you book a deal from tonight's show, you'll be... Uh, entered uh, into a draw to win a chance of a fantastic Royal Caribbean dressing gown. We're going to show you that in a few moments' time. They look amazing. You can secure um, any cruise, or many of the cruises, I should say, from a pound per person. We've got great family of four prices as well. And, of course, we are APTA and ATOL bonded, meaning your money is safe with us. Uh, and also, you can pay for your holiday in direct debit instalments at 0% interest. So, many reasons to book tonight, but we are joined by two very special guests. We've got, first of all, the beautiful Michaela from Planet Cruise, I'm from Royal Caribbean, I should say, but we're yep. very close with Planet Cruise. Yeah, abs yeah absolutely, we do, we do. <laughs> well, great to have you back on the sofa. Thank you, and thanks for having us. Oh, it's yeah. always a pleasure, believe me. And then Dan from Planet Cruise, you're with us tonight, of the course. They're not so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering where you were going They're with very that. Handsome. I thought, what's he going to call me? <laughs> It's good to see you. I'm glad Give we're apart chance. today. Give me you know. a chance. But um, you, obviously, you work for it because you'll be taking Absolutely. the bookings tomorrow with yeah. the big team. What a show we've got, though. Very exciting. I mean, what more would you want on a Tuesday evening than to have an hour of Royal Caribbean? Um, so, yeah, really exciting. I'm really excited to show showcase the ships that we have, um, the, the quality of ships that we have, and the six amazing offers that I we know. have. And they well. truly are. And anyone that books Cruise Night, We'll be entered My into... My big moment. Yes, <laughs> into draw. Very well modelled there, Dan. <laughs> You're going to slip it on later, aren't you? Uh, we thought about that. I'm hoping yeah. to stick it around the back so she yeah. forgets it on the way home. <laughs> but um, you'll be entered, as we just mentioned, on the reasons to book into that prize draw, of course. Um, right. Yes. Shall we begin? Absolutely. Let's go. Well... How, how, how many years have Royal so, Caribbean been with yes, us now? Yes, very excitingly, this is our 50th year. Um, so we, we have had a lot of going out with the phrase 50 years bold because with getting older, we're continuing to get bolder and we are continuing to enhance the cruising industry, yeah. really continuing to innovate. We are going with a holiday because we are absolutely the ultimate holiday, not just the ultimate cruise. Yeah, as that well. is so true, actually. Really true. The one thing I always say about Royal Caribbean, you know, you will never be bored for a second. There is so much choice of things to do. There is. Mm. And with that as well, um, we really want to go out and make sure people are aware when you go on holiday, be it in a group of two, be it in a group of six, be it in a family, a bigger family, um, you don't, everyone has such a different concept of what a holiday is and you shouldn't have to compromise with what your idea is compared to somebody else's and with Royal Caribbean you do not because we have something for everybody yes. any age we really do. Um, I remember uh, a, a recent cruise Royal Caribbean as a, a, a big extended family right from from the you know the young grandchildren to the you know the great grandparents and everyone yeah. was having a great time doing completely some things together and some things, things yeah completely yeah. different. Anyway well, we've got a clip of film to show you right now it's celebrating I was going to say 50 of your favourite the best moments, but that's not, <laughs> not quite right. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> about, have a look at this. Go in and live your best life. Best Wow. Amazing, right? Yeah. Absolutely. When, when you look at, you know, the incredible things Royal Caribbean have done yeah. over those years. Yeah. 
continue to push the boundaries and continue to do so throughout our 51st year, which will be I next know, year I as well. I can't believe that, actually. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And, and I think the one thing a lot of people know when they think Royal Caribbean, they know they've, they've got all these firsts at sea. But I think sometimes they don't quite know exactly how much they're going to go. And throughout the show tonight, we're going to see on your different ships yeah. exactly what's available. And I think that'll be a really great thing to see for everyone at yes. home. Well, we are yeah, starting absolutely. with the biggie, aren't we? Uh, yes. This is the Anthem of the Seas. That's right. Now, she is very special, isn't she? Anthem of the Seas is a premium cruise ship. So we always, we always so bright and colourful with what we do, but we, all, we also have a premium, premium product and premium offering as well. And um, the thing that makes Anthem so special is she was christened in Southampton in 2015. So it was the first port she ever sailed from, named and launched here. And then she sailed over to New York and has been there ever since. And she is coming back to Southampton in 2020. Wow. Coming back home, as we, we may <laughs> say. Um, so it's really exciting. The quality of the hardware you get with Anthem it is a five-star cruise ship as well. Um, the we have the the playfulness and everything we would have on Royal Caribbean, such as the largest indoor space at sea, which caters well for Southampton because the weather's not always incredible. Um, <laughs> so that, we nicely do, put. <laughs> we do have an um, yeah. indoor venue as well. We'd have the sports court, we'd have cir a circus school, we have the bumper cars. Um, we have the highest viewing point on any cruise ship, as we've just seen, the North Star, um, which is an incredible experience to do as well. As you can see there, we have the um, Ripcord by iFly, which is a skydiving simulator. And it's just an experience that you may never even think about doing on land, but certainly why not try it when you're on board the ship? And we have four pools, including an adult-only solarium section. Oh, very nice. And also a pool with a retractable roof, again, well suited to Southampton. Um, the dining options, we have 18 dining options complimentary and speciality as well and the quality of food and it's the quality of food throughout the full fleet is just incredible it really is really is um, now 270 is a purpose entertainment built venue and this venue cost more than our first ship actually cost the song of norway we have six robotic screens that are choreographed into a pattern um, that do a performance linked in with the the performers as well and of course as you can see there we have we will rock you the full west end musical in as well um and yeah just one great adventure <laughs> <I think she's, laughs> there's she's, a lot she's, more she's the best come. ship to ever come to southampton like, i know yeah, that, i remember absolutely. when we were in the office last year and i can't remember if it was yourself or one of your the colleagues came down and you, you said right the ship that's coming to southampton is going to be anthem yeah, and we uh -huh. all said okay great it, because yeah. it's it, you know independence is amazing Navigator is amazing, but Anthem, Independence, Anthem. It is it. Yeah, yeah, it was game changing when it came to when she yeah. came to Southampton in 2015, and um, and she's finally back. Yeah, it's it's so exciting to have her back. Um, so exciting, as I say, the five star premium hardware oh. and everything that you see in there as well. All the activities are all included. You don't pay anything more on board. It's Which is everything amazing. is included. Well, I I haven't yeah. cruised on her yet, but I am determined to next year. So let's uh, let's give you a, a little taste of the itinerary. Nice and easy, as we mentioned, out of South. Hampton, so you can pack as much luggage as you like. It means your cruise holiday begins straight away. A uh, couple of days at sea, and I like that because you get to really explore the ship, don't you? And especially on this ship, yeah. Um, you probably want as many sea days as you <laughs> could get. Yeah. Yeah. But it, You'll yeah. leave at least two days, won't Exa you? Absolutely. Um, you will not be bored. There is so much to do on board Anthem. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the important thing to say, you know, going out of Southampton, especially if you're with the family, for example, those two days at sea are going to be invaluable yeah. to relaxation. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely invaluable. <laughs> After a couple of days at sea, we go into a brilliant port, Lisbon. Really great port. And the, the best thing about Lisbon that I really like is you come off the ship and you are there. There's no two-hour transfers in. You come off the ship, you can walk to the town centre if you want to. There's also lots of trips you can do with Royal Caribbean. Um, but I would say go into town, have a wander around, have a custard, Portuguese custard tart. Oh, They're definitely. Beautiful. I've got a two of them. Yeah, yeah. If you've got any space from all those dining options on board, have a well. custard tart. <laughs> go for a good walk first. <laughs> After Lisbon, uh, we then head to, to Vigo on there. Again, brilliant port because it's so easy to get anywhere in the city, in the town. You come off, beautiful coastline, fairly rugged, but there's still going to be good sunshine, whatever. Whichever date you go on, you're going to see in a moment, you're going to get good sunshine in both of those ports on there. And then from Vigo, we head for another day at sea, so continue to enjoy the ship. We head into Le Havre. Now, from there, you can head down to Paris if you want to. 
La Havre itself, again, great because you can walk into town from there. So this is a really great cruise. If you've not cruised before and you want something to go into that's not too sort of heavy on itinerary, you want a brilliant ship and somewhere easy going, this could be the one for you because you don't have to go too far from the ship to enjoy yourself when you're there. And then from there, it's just a quick hop back across to Southampton and a phone call to book your next one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> In the car on the way home. <laughs> Do you know, I, I, I've often done that. I, the, the moment I finished a kiss, I'm like, I need, to, I need to start booking my next one. <laughs> um, now, um, as we mentioned, Royal Caribbean are really February. Um, and, you know, I've travelled with my family. In fact, I, I took my uh, niece and nephew away a few years ago with Royal Caribbean. Different ages. My niece was 11, my nephew was 15. And we all had such a great time. So let's just give you an idea of what it would be like, you know, on board with, of course, the family as well. That's right as well. And we are, we are um, completely multi-generational families. So if you're sitting at home and you're thinking, well, what could I get? What is the perfect Christmas present? One pound deposit per person. And you could have the absolute most incredible, um, incredible yeah, a pound holiday. deposit, you know. Yeah. Uh, per person, a pound, that is literally it to book your place. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and I was saying uh, earlier to Michaela, you know, even, you know, I've, I've sometimes just got me and my partner, and there's always nice quiet areas as well, you know. Yeah, and yeah. especially with Anthem, we have um, the ad an adult only solarium, which yeah. is at the front, of the, the front of the ship on the top deck, which is such a relaxing place to be. Um, yeah, it is, there's something. They, whilst we do hold um, a good number of passengers, you would never feel that on board. No. Um, no, all, loads yeah. of space, yeah. loads of Absolutely. choice, you know, an amazing Absolutely. experience. Uh, and a great price tonight, say, starting from as little as seven seven nine, and you can secure your place from just one pound per person a deposit as well. Uh, I think we are going to have a very, very busy show tonight. Um, and a very exciting show as well, you know, I say, I, I, I love just looking at your ships and seeing the, the films and things. That's but, right, and everything we do, we really try to to get to the people that have not cruised before yeah. as well with the bright colours and we want to be thought of as this holiday experience yeah. and um, yeah everything we, we offer 50 years 50 years bold um, so everything that we offer we really try and um, change the game and take it to that next level and the experience that you get on Anthem you will not Love get it, on any anywhere else and the important thing to say is as well that you'll see the family of four price there but yeah. when they go on board they don't have to pay no, loads for no. all these extras oh, they? No. No. so much is included yeah so, so you could go skydiving well as in a wind tunnel. In the wind tunnel? <laughs> not, not literally, um, but you could do it yeah. included in you, the price. You can do the bumper cars, roller skating, um, go and see We Were Rocky, go into 270, see the show there. You can go okay. to the circus school, go on the floor rider surfing, go up to the North Star, which is the July capture wall, and there is literally yeah. something to eat, complimentary. God, you, can do, you can do as little or as much yeah. as you like. So let's just quick you what's included uh, this evening. Uh, tips included on the 2020 date, so you don't even have to worry about those. You can secure your place from just £8 per person deposit. Obviously, if there's four of you, that will be £4, I'm afraid, tonight. <laughs> hopefully, you can stretch to that. Uh, a family four could cruise for as little as 3235 there. And uh, the itineraries and duration, they differ just depending on departure date, just call for details on those. Uh, and as always, um, whenever you're cruising out at Southampton, you know, it's nice to make your, your whole experience really, really stress-free. So rather than driving down on the day, why not uh, add a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from just £95 per person. That includes breakfast, parking and your port transfers as well. Uh, so don't forget to give us a call tonight. The ID number is 230082. Price-wise, uh, we've got great uh, dates from May to October. And I've got to say, not much more on those dates when you look at you know, upgrading to an ocean view or a balcony. No, there's not. And one thing we haven't mentioned, which is a hugely exciting feature on Anthem, is we do also have a virtual balcony on an interior stage. Oh, yes, you do, don't you? Yeah. We just, just an everyday thing now for us. But um, yeah, we do have it. But the upgrade to a balcony is not much at all. And of course, we, want, we would get that extra space in that ocean view as well. Now, I'm getting told off already because <laughs> apparently we're going we're to run out of time. But there's so much to talk about, I, isn't there? Yeah, but yeah. anyway, right, uh, we'll move on because I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, our next cruise, this is a wonderful one. Um, it's on board the Harmony of the Seas and it's an 11 hour Orlando stay and Eastern Caribbean cruise. That's right. However, we've what? also got in this itinerary 
um, Perfect Day at Coco Cay, which is our private island. It has been recently um, enhanced to make it everybody's oh. perfect day. Um, and we're going to show that in a few months' yep. time. But here's a, a little look at Harmony of the Seas. That's right. So Harmony is one of our Oasis-class ships, which is one of the, the largest ships that we have in the fleet. Um, it is designed really well to, to cater for that many passengers. We do have um, activities such as zip wire. We have a bionic bar, which is a robotic bartender on board which as well. Which is great. Yeah, Real it's fun. good. You Real would order fun. your drink with the iPad and then the robots make it for you and um, yeah. And they're really good. It is, it is, it's good. <laughs> I'm glad you've had experience on and, that and one. And great, again, the that's, yeah. I, that's one of the things I love about Rob Kevin. Your shows are spectacular. This is one of the best so the, parts of the this ship. This is <laughs> it, the back of the ship, the aqua theatre, and you don't get anything like this even on land. It is. We have um, professional divers going right from the very top, as you can see on there. We actually have tightrope walkers on Harmony that go along the very top of the ship as well. We have synchronised swimmers, trampolinists. We have all sorts I of... I mean, also the shows, uh, you know, yeah. the, the, so the amphitheatre and that, they are amazing. And I just remember the, the, the water, the pool of water looks so small. You've got these divers yeah, diving into it. it's the deepest pool at sea. It Believe really? Yeah, yeah. I was so is. worried. I was like, oh, but they were amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and uh, you know, at the skill is incredible. But... Um, this is going to be one of the best itineraries as well. I think. Yeah. It's a brilliant itinerary, yeah. this one, isn't it? I mean, you've got a, you've got the sunshine in there for sure, because going down to Orlando, it's going to be sunny from start to end, really, isn't it? Great thing. We start in Orlando, which in itself is a brilliant place. We've got three nights there. Now, we always place you in a hotel on International Drive, so you've got plenty of things to do there. You can sort yourself out with tickets to Disney if you want to. Speak to us about renting a car. You may want to go out and about. You may have been there before and rent the car and go a bit further afield. It's up to you. You've got three days there to completely relax. Or you may be really lazy and just stay in the, you know, yeah. the, the hotel. Stay by the pool. <laughs> yeah. That's probably what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you and I, we tan really well, don't we? Obviously, yeah. <laughs> so we'd be sunbathing, wouldn't yeah. we? You know, That's it. Chopping up our olive skin. But, um, you know, we, but I do, you know, I, you know, I love Orlando for, for, you know, for Chile. I seriously do like just, you know, sitting under a brawly, relaxing, swimming. But there's all the theme parks, there's great shopping, yeah. there's everything there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there is. There it's is. just a great place. And it's a great way to start your holiday. You're out there and you're relaxed. There's no getting on the ship tired. You're yeah. refreshed, ready to go for your holiday. So what that a great sense. start. Three yeah. nights in a fantastic hotel, but then you embark Harmony of the Seas. Harmony. And one thing that I remember, you said to me earlier, Michaela, you said that you feel really sorry for the ship because she is unbelievable. Yeah, but yeah. we go to Coco Cay and yeah. Coco Cay so just outshines her. <laughs> and that, that's something, isn't it? So, yeah. But let's have a look. We, we join on there and you've got two days at sea to do all those things, Aqua Theatre, the Wave Rider, all of those sort of yeah. things. Go on those and enjoy in the sunshine. Head to St. Martin on there. Now, great thing you can do here, you can either go out and grab a taxi and just do a tour of the island, go around to see the airport beach. Oh, um, I've done that. It's yeah. great fun, yeah. And they're great. The taxis or, or a Royal Caribbean tour, they'll take you to both no, sides of the island. There's the airport There's beach. the airport they beach. They do get really close. <laughs> <laughs> Lie down. Yes. <laughs> so I'd have just fallen asleep by that point, though, in my luck. Um, go out. You can see both sides of the island and just see the difference between the Dutch and the French side. Then it's off to San Juan. Uh, now, here you can go into the old town. It's fantastic to go and see the old town. But you can also head if you really want to. If you're an aficionado of drink, like I know some of us on the sofa, well, not on the sofa, on the chairs are tonight, <laughs> you can head me. to the Bacardi, where Bacardi comes from, and go and have a tasting, see how it's made, go into the bar at the end. It's really good fun. It's in a day at sea before Coco K. Now, I won't say too much because there's a God, brilliant yeah, video coming up. Here. I, won't about. I won't say <laughs> Michaela's, you know, big, big announcements on there, but it's a brilliant place to go. It's a private island. After Coco Cay, back to Orlando, or Port Canaveral, where we disembark and we fly you back to the UK. Wow. Uh, now, Coco Cay, we've actually got some footage to share with you now, so just have a look at this. Amazing. <laughs>
on the island or a water park like this before, and I'm just blown away. It's incredible. He's the thrill, I'm the chill. Right. Thrill. Thrill. I'm kind of excited about doing the slides over there. They're pretty big. Over the top. Over, like, yeah, I think just... this is the best private island I've been to on any, any ship. This is a perfect day! Do it like this. Now, the customer feedback has been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. The demand for Coco K has been so, so big that we have duplicated ports on some itineraries so we stopped twice on some itineraries and we've also extended the stays to um leave later on in the evening because mm -hmm, well. everyone wanted to stay longer yeah, didn't they yeah because it's just and i've not been myself but i've got a lot of colleagues and friends that have been and they have said like any like videos like that are amazing and that's the, the brightness of it is is all real life and the, the photos and images that we have are just brilliant but they've all said it just doesn't do it justice really Actually, yeah it just does not do well, the island justice. well we need to go and find out no, absolutely yeah. absolutely um and then, then of course uh, you're back to uh, orlando and sadly you do have to come back home and book your next cruise but let's show you what is included on this one so you will get your three night hotel stay Orlando uh, so it's loads to do there uh, you will visit we've just seen uh, Royal Caribbean's private island Coco Cay how amazing is that day going to be you're uh, on board the Harmony of the Seas for seven nights and uh, as we mentioned items will differ slightly just depending on departure date and all of your return flights from London are of course included uh, Price-wise, I'd love to do this one. Um, so, we've got dates at March all the way through uh, to October of next year, and the price starting at just 1479 but some great upgrades. You've probably noticed there, there's very little difference between the ocean view and the balcony. Was, you know, if you go for, the, say, the 3rd of September, the difference between ocean view and balcony is £30. Yeah, and you would do it. Of course you, you would. You would do it. Have to, I'm not, I don't always have a balcony, but when you've got such a great itinerary such as that and the great weather, yeah. it's really nice to have one, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. It's nice just to have that outdoor space as well, where you can just go and sit on and relax, um, yeah. kind of as you see on the way from port. Um, but yeah, that is, an, that is like the ultimate, ultimate holiday. Yeah. Universe, well, all, Orlando, Coco Cay, Harmony of the yeah. Seas, like it doesn't get much better. Uh, you know, I think we, we can pretty much <laughs> guarantee you're gonna have a fantastic time. But uh, if, you, if you haven't just joined us, yes, this is Planet Cruise, of course, but it is a Royal Caribbean special with Michaela. She's brought some amazing deals. Now, um, the next ship I, I have been on, the Allure of the Seas, I had the most good. amazing time. Oh, good would be an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> amazing time. And there were good, four of yeah. us. And yeah, we, we just, we were not bored for a second. We had yeah. some of the best entertainment, best food best service well let me tell you oh <laughs> allure of the seas in april 2020 is going in to be amplified now what we mean by amplified is we are really enhancing this ship so allure sits in a class with three of the ships um two of which are a bit newer than alert so we are bringing alert up to the level of those ships um we are adding a whole load of features it's a 665 million dollars um amplification we are doing wow. so it's going to be the ultimate ship sailing in the med in 2020 now, is it, and I, you know I, I thought she was already outstanding couldn't be better but well you want to be convinced <laughs> yeah. then sure to, see. to get back on board <laughs> um and it's a lovely seven night uh, western mediterranean cruise from barcelona so here That's is a little taster
now, the brand new amplified alert of the seas. That's right. That's I've just right. said to Pagan, some of my f fondest memories were eating outdoors in the Central, Central Park. Central Park, that's right. So we have we split this, this class of ship into seven different what we call neighbourhoods because we want to be able to give you a completely different feel depending on where you are on the ship. So the likes of Central Park, as you've just mentioned, has over 12,000 living plants in this area. I remember it that. is open, open top. So in the evening, they have the like lights on the trees to make it feel like you're in a resort in the evening. And um, yeah, it's, it's just an, it's an incredible ship. Yeah, this is my go. favorite ship. That yeah, that is um, Central Park. And we also have balcony staterooms that look out onto Central Park. So if you like people watching, it's a good good place to God. sit and watch um but it is going to be the ultimate ship um but i just remember all the plants and it just it was magical like where, where else do you get that on a it's it's like a whole resort in itself and yeah. um, where else do you get that kind of experience at and sea and so we used to dine there in all flight and it was it's yeah. wonderful um yeah. anyway <laughs> I keep getting told that we we get behind the time. There's so much to say we've all come in. But let's uh, let's show you the itinerary. Over to you. Oi. Yay, sorry. Guys. That's all right. I quite left out over it. Oh, sorry, I keep, keep reminiscing. Right, here we go. Now we're gonna start. I, I always go on about this, but I the med I love, Western Med, Eastern Med, I think it's a brilliant destination. Um great thing about this, it starts in Barcelona on there. And what I like about Barcelona, you can get there from so many places in the UK. You're not just stuck with Gatwick and places yeah. like that. So we head down to Barcelona. Um, also speak to the guys if you want to add on nights in Barcelona, by all means speak to yeah. them, see if you can do yeah, that. It's definitely. a really great option to do one or two nights there. We then head across to Palma in Mallorca, a great place. Head into the town there, see the, the cathedral there. Um, the other thing you can do, there's a little railway that goes all the way up through the orange groves, and I'm struggling to think what it's called, and I did write I've it down. I've never been on it. Have I've been not? to Palma. No. It's wonderful. And go have a, have a little Google of it, because I can't remember <laughs> the name, but that's terrible, isn't it? See, I've been sat there waiting, waiting for my <laughs> moment, and I've forgotten what I was going to say. I'm going to have a look right now. Yeah. So after Palma, while you're looking for that, we head to Marseille. Now, Marseille is a great port because, again, it's really accessible. There, you can head. Really, I would recommend a trip to the, the fields to see the, the flowers the, in Provence, but you can also head into Marseille itself, which is a great town, really good old port. There, and um, there's a bus from the port actually, it's just yes. a euro or so. I, can go to I used that bus this year. I visited, I went into this port, and you get off the ship and you follow a green line for about 10 it. minutes you and you get onto and, and it, and it's it's it, and it takes and it runs the city center, all the yeah. time throughout yeah, the time the ship is there, which is great. From there, we head to La Spezia. Now, La Spezia is great because if you've been to Tuscany before, you've done Florence and Pisa, maybe. La Spezia itself is a beautiful palm tree lined boulevard. Head into the t head into the town, head up onto the, the castle at the top, some great views. Or, like I say, go to Pisa. That's Everyone it, yeah. goes to Pisa to get the photo, I, don't they? See. That's it. Yeah, you it, it, it always yeah. leans when I'm pushing against it. And then <laughs> Florence as well is fantastic, so mm. that's great. And then from there, it's down to Civitavecchia for Rome, which again, Rome is a huge port, and you often go on these items. If you've not been to Rome, Go into Rome itself. It's about an hour, hour and twenty, hour and a half to get in there, but, it but it's well so worth, it. worth doing oh, because is, yeah. they'll drop you in the very middle of town, and you can walk your little legs mm -hmm. off, seeing all the bits of the Colosseum, all the history that's there. I love it. My I, wife loves it. I visited Rome for the first time this year as well, and on a cruise, and we did do. It is absolutely worth that journey because every corner you turn around in Rome, there is just something. Yeah, that takes yeah. there's a, a photo away. opportunity, yeah. you know, and it's just a great place. From there, it continues because the next day you head down to. It says Capri, but you can go to Capri. It's Naples, is the port. Again, I love Naples because you dock in the very center of Naples. You are literally there. Head across to Capri if you've been there before. It's a beautiful place to go. If you don't want to do Capri, you can head and see Vesuvius, head up the, uh, the volcano, or head to Pompeii. Or my preferred one of the two is Herculaneum, which is the slightly smaller Same, yeah. one. But it's, it's, I think it's just so well yeah. preserved. It's that yeah. little bit quieter than Pompeii and a little bit smaller. So if you, you're not so keen to go walking around for hours, Herculaneum's the one to go to. It's then a day at sea before heading back to Barcelona, where again, you're going to fly back to the UK. Many different uh, airports we do there as our regionals to, to go from. Um, now, great itinerary, but let's just take you back on board Alert of the Seas. So, top five. Top five newly, new features on the newly amplified allure of the seas. So we are adding on the perfect storm, which is a trio of water slides, which we have huge, um, hugely well-received feedback from on the symphony and harmony. We are really enhancing the dining options. Um, so we're adding the port side barbecue, no 
surprised if a guest might shine with the ship back on. Outside barbecue to, to bring, we, we don't have a barbecue restaurant on board right now, so to have that outside um, is really exciting. Karaoke goes down very well on board, and people love to do that, so we're adding on the spotlight karaoke. And El Loco Fresh is possibly my favourite food rest well, restaurant on board um, any of our ships. It's near the pool area, it's complimentary, and we do all sorts of different um, Mexican food. And then, what else could be number one? But the ultimate abyss, the tallest dry slide at sea, um, is the quickest way to get from the top deck to the to the boardwalk. Absolutely, <laughs> but it is it is it's just a, some experience, mm. and people tend to go away to get the experiences now and it's something that people have been on one of the ships that the ultimate abyss are on whilst you might think what's oh, the slide and you ask them if they come off it and you say did you do the ultimate abyss and they'll all go yeah i did it i did it <laughs> it is something it's one of those things that everybody knows now and um, royal royal caribbean fall go yeah. well um let's remind you of what's included on this one as well um, so you're going to be sailing on board the newly amplified Alert of the Sea. You've just seen those brilliant five brand new uh, features. Uh, as Dan mentioned, you can add on a Barcelona hotel stay as well. Just call for details. We can uh, arrange that for you. Return flights based on London Heathrow. As we often say, though, you know, do uh, ask us about regional flights. You know, Planet Crews are brilliant at finding those when they're available. And uh, all you need to do, say, is speak uh, to one of our cruise consultants right now. Price-wise, the price on this one just starts at 789 And again, we've got some brilliant dates all the way from the 17th of May through to the 4th of October 2020. And some, some great little upgrades there to the ocean view, the balcony, and even the suite as well. Um, however, we're, we're going to show you something now that chances are you won't have seen and it's your newest ship Odyssey of the Seas. That's right so lots of exciting news tonight but Odyssey of the Seas is going to be um, so the the five star class of ship we have is called quantum class which is what Anthem sits in but Odyssey is going to be a quantum ultra so we are taking it to Ooh. that next level. Um, Odyssey was announced and launched in September sorry not launched announced in september but she is going to be sailing from november 2020 in the caribbean um and then she will be going across to rome to sail in the mediterranean in summer 2021 which is yet to be on sale so yes very excited about odyssey of the seas well we want to see odyssey of the seas and it is time to see right it now is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we what we have as you'll have seen with anthem we have a lot of indoor areas with the quantum class so I'm really brightening it up with Odyssey given the destinations that she will be sailing in. We are keeping the features we have on Anthem such as the C-Plex or the bumper cars. We are keeping the skydive. We are enhancing some of the activities like some of the la an inflatable laser tag which we have um, but it is really just taking it to that next step. We've never had a quantum class ship sailing out of Rome. We've never had a ship like this. Wow. And it's, yeah, very, it's quite something. very, yeah. It's and we're really some of the first people to see that video, aren't yeah, we? We're yeah, very spoiled yeah, on here. Absolutely. I, um, I want to say it again, but I'm not allowed because we're Could a bit behind on. still. <laughs> We did it two hours, we did, didn't we? <laughs> uh, anyway, we, we better move on because um, we have got our next cruise. Um, this, I thought, the value of this one, incredible. That's right. So very tempted with this. Anthem of the Seas is back in 2020, but she is also back in 2021 as well. Um, so Anthem is. We're, we're, we're middling to quantum. Is that okay? Quantum, yes, we yes, have. I've right. just seen sorry. the North Star in the yes, background. Sorry, I thought you were on Anthem. Yes, quantum. <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Too excited about it. Um, <laughs> but no, I really Russian fancy this one because uh, it's a 70 night Beijing and the Great Wall to Japan, Vietnam, and Singapore with stay. And it's a huge itinerary. Yeah. Um, so we're going to start off in Beijing and we're there for three nights, aren't we? We're there for three nights. This is brilliant because this one we've actually linked up with another fantastic supplier which we put with Royal Caribbean up, which is Wendy Wu on there and they just are the absolute experts in this part of the world on there. So going to Beijing, you, whilst you're there, you're picked up from the airport and you are looked after. So if you're worried about going to uh, China, you don't have to be because Wendy will look after you from the first transfer to the last. They will right. take you to Tian Tiananmen Square. They will take you to the Forbidden City, the Great Wall. The great thing is that when you go to the Great Wall, you don't go to the bit that all the thousands of people go to. You go to a separate part 
far close so there's not the big long walk. Wendy would take you really close, just a short walk, and you get almost a separate part of the wall to yourself. Wonderful. What more could you ask for on there? So your time in China includes all your breakfasts as well, and they look after you with things like acrobatic night shows, things like that, which is great. Then after that, after you've done all of that, which you're going to be a bit tired after that, we then head off for a fabulous cruise on Quantum of the Seas, which is, is definitely one of the best. Well, let's have a little look, yes. and it's a 12-night cruise. That's right, yes. Yeah. So Quantum again is the premium five-star cruise ship that we have. Um, features such as the North Star, which would give you great views anywhere you are you are visiting. Um, we have the 270 lounge at the back of the ship, which is the purpose-built entertainment venue, um, which we have the bespoke entertainment in there. We do have the largest indoor venue at sea again, um, similar to what we've seen earlier. So the amount of activities that you can you can do on Quantum and the amount of dining options that we have on yeah. Quantum is just incredible as well. And you know, even you know, I'm reasonably adventurous, but I just love to say all the dining options, all the entertainment options, yeah. you know. Fabulous. No, I know. Uh, I know. Anyway, uh, the itinerary on this one is amazing as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? So after your time in China and you join the ship, you've then got a day at sea. So you're going to be able to enjoy the ship and just relax yeah. a little bit because you're, you know, you're going to have done a fair bit in the first few days on there. We head across to Sisebo on there, a really central port and it's really accessible. I think it's something like 300 metres from Port Dock to the city centre. Oh, really? It's really close. So there, there's no need to go off rushing around looking for something to do sort of a very laid back part of Japan to go and see something so that's quite easy to do there then we head off from there we head to Nagasaki on there now a few things to do here um, you've got the Nagasaki Peace Park you've got the Atomic Bomb Museum of course so that that's that part of history you can also do a great city tour from there and also the Clover Garden which sort of goes back to when they sort of first started trading with the West when they first started trading with the Portuguese it's sort of a very European style of garden and house and everything up there something a bit different you know I know you've gone all that way to say Portuguese house but it's not just that I promise <laughs> then we've got a couple of days at sea and we head to a, an amazing destination Hong Kong on there it doesn't really need too much you know explanation the moment you sail into that harbour you're going to be sort of amazed when you see the skyline you're there overnight as well which is great because you'll see the lights go and do a, a night cruise um, and there and just see the lights going on just see the different parts head up and see the Buddha on top on the little red train that's great and just really take your time there because you've got an overnight on board you've got the two full days which is brilliant you've then got another day at sea and it all becomes a bit more relaxing because we head down towards Vietnam it's the hard trunk this is an absolutely amazing place for beaches so if you're you're sort of you you've done all your walking in Hong Kong and China and Nagasaki head to the beach in the hard trunk in there you've also got a great town if you want to have a wander and then a beach in the afternoon but that's a wonderful place to be it's then off to Fumi uh, for Ho Chi Minh now it is a bit of a drive it's a bit imagine Chivitavecchia for Rome it's a bit like that on there so do a tour there head into Rome in, head into Ho Chi Minh sorry if you just do the bits in the city the Notre Dame Cathedral um, you've also got the post office down there which is quite magnificent it was um, designed by Gustave Eiffel so you could imagine he designed a tower that wasn't too bad either didn't he so head there or head to the, the Chuk Chi tunnels uh, if you like a little bit of history it's then to Singapore where we disembark and we sadly fly back home again um, I was just thinking about the diverse experiences you get in that one holiday yeah you know, yeah. lots of you know different experiences in the ports, but then that fantastic ship as well. That's right. That's right. You that's know. right. And there's, that's the thing with um, yeah. with Royal is kind of the experiences um, that you would get in the in the ports and the amount, the vast amount of destinations you get to see. But then everything you've got on the ship as well. Uh, I want to say as well, thing. for this part of the world, you may be a bit nervous to go to China. You're yes, really well looked exactly. after. You board the ship, and then you've sort of got almost that sort of safety net. That when you go back to the ship, the, the food and entertainment will be fantastic. You've yeah. got yeah. that safe zone to go back to. So if you're a little bit worried, a cruise is a brilliant way to yeah, do this I part agree. of the world. It yeah. really is because you can be looked after. You can do tours in all the ports. It's fantastic. Uh, well, again, amazing value. But have a look at this as well. So you have won so this, amazing awards, yeah, haven't so you? Yeah, so this is, um, we're really keen to showcase the entertainment that we have on board. Um, you don't get entertainment like this on land in some no, cases. you really don't. You don't. We absolutely push the boundaries when it comes to entertainment. Um, we have the actual Broadway or West End shows. It's not Broadway or West End style shows. It's the actual shows. So we have Mamma Mia. 
Um, my on, favorite. Yeah, I was just yeah. going to say on, I love Mamma Mia. on the lure of the seas, we have um, we have Greece, we have We Will Rock You, and um, we have the first drones performing at the drones at sea, which is just. Unheard of. And, and the ice incredible. show, so just seeing yeah. that—they're amazing, aren't they? They are. You would think that they may hold back a bit because the ship's moving, but they do no, they not. It, <laughs> it is incredible what they do on the ice. Um, so we, we are yeah, constantly trying to, yeah. to think of new things to do. And the aqua theatre, as we mentioned earlier, the deepest actually has the deepest pool at sea. Yeah. Um, and again, where would you even see a show like that no. with the divers? That, and that, that's like that's that. one of say one of the main reasons I've cruised with World Cup in many times. Yeah. You know, the, everything is amazing, but the yeah. entertainment is, yeah, it is outstanding. I love entertainment, great entertainment. Um, so, uh, Quantum of the Seas, you're looking at uh, say a price for this, ex you know, huge really cruising experiences, 70 nights for just one six seven nine, which is incredible value. You think what is included? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, as well, what I would say is a great time to go 3rd of October 2020 because it's before the weather gets too cold in China. And yes. obviously, the further south you go, the warmer it gets. So you don't have to take sort of three suitcases to pack in enough different clothes to wear throughout the whole holiday on there, which is brilliant. I oh, think these are the virtual balcony that we was, just saw. Yes, that way. is right. Yeah. And then yeah. you obviously got the uh, the ocean. There's a virtual balcony. I haven't stayed one of those, but everyone says. You know, they are brilliant. And you can, you can close it out. You don't have to have it. Kind of on, but it is the it streams the live footage of kind of what you would see if you were in a balcony. So it's just given a different experience and again bringing a, a different feel to a, a cruise ship and to an interior uh, stadium. I do it makes it more spacious, what, I can imagine yes, as well. Yes, it does yeah. absolutely. Um, absolutely. So let's just quickly show you uh, again what's included. An awful lot in this one: uh, a three-night stay in Beijing with Forbidden City, Tiananmen Square, the Great World Tours. Um, you can also just again call for details upgrade to a five night China land tour where you experience the terracotta warriors. You're overnight on board in Hong Kong, of course, as well. And you've got an amazing 12 night cruise on board Quantum of the Seas. Incredible value there, 1679. Like that one a lot. Uh, 3rd of October, I'll get my new holiday allowance by then as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, our, our next cruise is uh, back with Anthem of the Seas, and yes. it's your chance to visit the Norwegian fjords, which is one of my, my favourite itineraries, actually. Yeah. So Anthem, as I mentioned, jumped the gun before, <laughs> she is back in 2021 as well. So she is premium cruise ship, the absolute best ship sailing from Southampton, the experience that you get on board, and again, the activities you get on board Anthem are complimentary. Um, likes of Vune and the North Star, and you mentioned... I mentioned yeah. the really important thing about this one, and I really want to put it out there. 21st of May 2021 is the lead-in, Dave. We've also got others on there. Um, really important, things like the North Star. Can you imagine, if you've been to the fields before, you sail in, you stand on the top deck, it's amazing. Imagine, if you book this early, you can pre-book, booking your place yeah, on the North yeah. Star and being oh, even further word. and seeing the whole of Norway around you. That That's one be of the benefits of booking early. Yeah. That would be quite yeah. something and, and absolutely worth the reason to book early if you thought to book this cruise, which I think is great. Um, the other thing which, which we mentioned about this uh, ship, which we haven't really seen on the other ships, they've had them, but is the sweet class on there. The sweet class, that's uh, right. So we, of course, we have this sweet class. Um, we, we split it into three different sections on Anthem of the Sea. So we have a, a star class, which is the, the top class of suite we have. Um, we then have the sea class, and we also have the sky class. So we split it into three different categories, and with the suites, you get extra benefits. Yeah, we're just looking here. Um, so with the likes of the star class, we get you get what is called a royal genie. So it's it's a personal butler. Um, <laughs> and but the difference between a genie is they will they will ask before you go what what is the thing what do you dream about doing. So for example, we've had someone that's travelled with us once that went on Anthem, and they they always wanted to be a DJ. So when they went on to Anthem, the genie had planned for them to be in the DJ booth um, to to make <laughs> that experience happen. And they oh, know wonderful. all sorts about the destinations that you're visiting so they're able to give you this real insight as well and that's God. kind of one of the perks you get with one of the tops and you know and maybe you, you know it's just a special birthday yeah. you know yeah. a spe special time in your life and you just finally want to book that suite so do give us a call for this because yeah. the price is really good and this, really is, and this good, is the ship to do it on if you're going to do yeah. it oh, for yeah. that real yeah. experience of a suite class anyway yeah. we better uh, we better uh, take you uh, through the Norwegian fjords so outside mm. Hampton of course first day at sea and over to Bergen over to Bergen great walking into Bergen, head up the little funicular, see the view from above, get the, the photos, just enjoy Bergen itself, it's very walkable there. 
um, your ship, you, you can't see it there, but the ship is uh, just docked down at the bottom of the water there. It's great. Then we head into Garanga, probably the most photographed of all the fields on there. It's just a truly stunning place. When we were there, we went up Mount Dalsniba um, and did the Eagle Road. It's a road that sort of zigzags up the side of a, a mountain and go up to Mount Dalsniba and you just get that fantastic view down onto the ship that looks like a tiny little dot down below on there, which is great. Then we head off to Alessand, which is sort of known as the adventure capital of the fields. Um, I would reckon if you want to do something like your kayaking, you know, your rib ride, something like that, this is the place to do it. Go off and enjoy the field on that. And then you've got Christian Sand, which is, again, a really easy to reach town on there. Um, if you want to have just a wander around and head back to the ship to enjoy the ship, that's the perfect place to do it. Or there's a fantastic, it's the Setterzdal Barnen Railway, a really old fashioned sort of wooden railway, which takes you on a seven kilometer journey, just around to see the older sort of side of Christian Sand as well. There you see, back into Southampton. Wow. Um, just to remind you of what's included, uh, price tonight starts just eight to five. Uh, a family of four can cruise from just three to one five there. Again, if you'd like to reserve your place right now, uh, remember this is for May 2021. Uh, you can see up from just a pound per person, and also you can add on a, a night at the Holiday Inn in Winchester from just ninety-five pounds per person. That would include breakfast, parking, and your port transfers as well. And then. Uh, now, I did spot something, I said, said to Michaela, hang on, is that price right? Because if you look at the middle line, okay, <laughs> 21st of May, the prices really go down and I was I was surprised, I couldn't really work yeah. out why, but they, they're just great, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, amazing prices. Don't um, analyse too much. No, don't. <laughs> no. Phone and book. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and even the family price and like to get that holiday experience on that ship because you've Amazing. got everything on board every bit every activity you all want different holidays don't have to compromise go on anthem of the seas um and the, yeah the price is just well, huge well value all those you. prices are amazing but you, yeah. you know when you for the 21st of may to pick up a, a balcony at 969 yeah. is incredible that yeah. one so Amazing. book quickly uh don't forget to give us a call 0808 250 2662 uh we are what are we up tonight dan Open till 10 o'clock tonight. Phone number speaks to guys all the way through till 10 and in the morning back at 8 a.m. Oh, what time will well. you be in? At 9. 9. Yeah, <laughs> no 8 o'clock for me. <laughs> not, when he's been, not when he's been presented the night before. It's a, it's a big job. I need like, time to take the makeup off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no answer to that. Right. Uh, a final cruise. Um, uh, we were all saying um, this is on board Jewel of the Seas. Look at the price, 765. Yeah, incredible. I just price thought your flights would be far off that. Deal of the night, this one. I said this. You I've said this for a few weeks. Yeah. Deal of the night. Deal and of the week. Deal so far that I've seen this year. If you want to get some sunshine. And, you, yeah. and I know Planet Cruise, you've been selling loads. loads yeah, of Dubai cities. is selling yeah. really, yeah, really well. You um, know, it's, it's the it's great thing because it crosses a city break in multiple big cities. You've got beaches. You've got sunshine and you've got an amazing ship. Yeah, and you've got That's the right. whole lot for 765. Uh, so, um, so I've, I've only been to Dubai Airport. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot more to Dubai. So, let me, seriously. <laughs> I always wanted, I was like, I need to get out, but I've, always, I've only ever been to the airport. But everyone that I know that's been to Dubai has said, just an extraordinary choice of things to do. There is. There's so much to do. You can head up the tower. You can head out and do some shopping. You can head to an aquarium. You can go skiing in one of the shopping malls. Mm. Great things to other things to do. If you've been there before, maybe do a 4 by 4 desert safari. Something like that. Just go on there. If you've been there the first time, you only want to do this holiday, don't want to do any stays, go on sort of a red bus tour. Um, you yeah. know the open top yeah, ones yeah. you see in London? They take, yeah. They've got about three lines and they'll take you all round Dubai and you'll see everything and get your photo everywhere you need. Well, you've actually got... Um, so you, you, you fly to Dubai on this one um, and you've got a seven-night cruise. And so they, I'm looking at the dates... 9th 23rd of February 8th of March and this is a really bleak time in the UK yeah. when the weather's yeah, missing. It's a horrible Indeed. time of year in the UK oh, weather wise but out there it will be beautiful. But imagine late being 20s. on board Jewel of the Seas and having all of this choice uh, and great weather it's about mid 20s at this time of year isn't it on average? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. going to be well in the 20s there isn't it? It's, it's definitely going to be sunbathing weather. It's the time of year for me and you to go Sean it's not before it gets too hot. <laughs> it's so on true. There. <laughs> but just looking at, at Jewel of the Sea, loads of choice still. The, yeah, there is. Um, Jewel is a completely different concept to what we've talked about with, with some of the um, the other ships we've had on the programme tonight. But Jewel is an incredible ship. I sailed on a sister ship just uh, last year. Um, and what, what this, this class of ship is all about, the... Um, 
the super yacht style so it's it's very uh they use a lot of dark wood in, inside to make it really elegant. And, um, and, and is she more mid-size? She would be more mid-size, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it is, it's the, the largest ship that we've had in South, in Southampton, I was going to say, in Dubai. Um, but she, the, the experience that you get is very different. It's a lot more intimate, so yeah. it's a lot, there's a lot less people on board. But the, the, the quality of the food does not change. The service level yeah, does not it's change. It's still fabulous. It's yeah. such a relaxing, lovely ship. We also have a lot of glass exterior on this type of ship to be able yeah. to see out. Not that you'd want to be inside on this, no. this particular item. Unless you're at the bar, you know, yeah. early evening, the sun's going down. <laughs> um, um, yeah. well, well, we'd better um, just just uh, let you know the, the wonderful ports, of course. So we've, say, we've flown you to Dubai. Uh, just imagine the price of, of, of your flights. They are, of course, included. Um, and once you've experienced Dubai, um, and I've got to say, I mean, there's so much to do. Could we extend the stay in Dubai? Could Absolutely, we stay there yeah. Few, speak you know, to the guys. The cruise? Speak to the guys. You can extend it. And again, brilliant Dubai because you can go from so many UK airports. Yes, there's big choices with Emirates. in the air. So fly normally with Emirates out there from most regional airports. Once you get there, you've got an overnight on board. So if you, you don't have time, you've just got that short period to go. You've still got the overnight on board and the right. port is really central to go in and see everything. So from Dubai, we then head round to Kassab, which is in Oman. Kassab is brilliant. I've said it before. It's got the um, sort of the fields there, Omani fields. Yes, um, yes. So you can, they're not like the cold ones that we spoke about. You can go swimming in these ones or dolphin watching. It's fantastic. Oh. Then you head round to Muscat. Oh, I really like Muscat. It's the most chilled out part of the whole Emirates there. It's not as high rise as Dubai and Abu Dhabi. It's just really chilled out, very historic. Head into the souk and buy yourself something in there. Have a barter on there. Instead of Dead Sea for Abu Dhabi, if you're an, a lover of fast cars, Ferrari World is there. You know, just head around and see the city. Head to the Grand Mosque. It's absolutely beautiful, the, the Grand Mosque there. Then it's off to Sabaniyaz Island to completely chill out on the beaches there. White Sand Beaches, it's a nature reserve. Wild animals walking around everywhere. It's absolutely stunning. Head there for your last day to relax before on the ship. Head back to Dubai. Fly back to the UK on there. Wow. I think that's amazing. It's been selling so quickly as well. Yeah. So uh, finally, this is what's included for that very small price when you think you went for eight nights. Um, overnight on board in Dubai, return flights based on London, uh, but you can add on, as we mentioned, uh, a Dubai stay as well. Uh, return flights also, and this is great news, uh, are available from Glasgow and Edinburgh for just an extra £60 per person supplement. So uh, really important, Glasgow, Edinburgh, they are available, but also we have got return flights from Birmingham for just an extra £40 per person. So a lot of choice flight-wise yeah, as well. Yeah. Really good. It's amazing. Uh, Dubai is like Barcelona. You can get there from pretty much anywhere. Uh, and uh, price-wise, we said starting at just seven. Uh, six five, but to be fair, the, the price is only really varied by a few pounds, you know. So we've got the 9th of February, the 23rd of February, and the 8th of March available. But not a little, uh, not not the same uh, much variance in terms of price there, just a few pounds. Yeah. Um, now we are going to do a, a recap, so stay tuned. But we uh, also have a very special show coming up next week as well. Now let me ask you a question. Have you ever dreamt of going on a cruise holiday but are not sure where to begin? Have you been watching our shows but have not booked the perfect getaway with us yet? Well, why not? But don't worry, look no further, because on Tuesday the 10th of December 2019, in a very special edition of the Planet Cruise TV show, we'll be bringing you a one-hour show dedicated to New to Cruise. We'll try and answer all your questions you've ever had about cruising, as well as bring you exclusive deals. So tune in to Ideal World on the 10th of December at 8 o'clock where we'll tell you everything you need to know to book and plan your holiday of a lifetime. See you there. I'm sure his t-shirts get lower. Don't you there? It's going to be down to his belly. I know, it's going to be down to his belly. It's not even 9 o'clock yet. <laughs> yeah, it's not even the water chef. Anyway, let's, so let's recap the amazing cruises we've had tonight with, of course, Royal Caribbean. And we started off with Anthem of the Seas. Wow, wow, wow. That's all I'm going to say. Um, this, of course, is your seven nights Spain and France from Southampton, and the price starting at just seven seven nine per person. Tips I'm included on 2020 dates, and you can book your place from just a pound per person deposit. And a family four at three two three five there. 
And then it was how many of the seas? How many of the seas? Remember, you go to Coco Cay, which is a sponsor about over here. Really important. You've got three nights in Orlando. Leading date 19th of March 2020. The ID 211431 for that one. Prices start from 1479 per person for everything you see on the screen there. It's a really great deal. Alert of the Seas was next, uh, and it's the uh, fantastic seven night Western Med from Barcelona. Um, I've sailed on her, she's amazing, but uh, remember, newly amplified, so that's right, better newly than amplified. Ever. And don't forget, for that price, 789. Other than visiting those incredible destinations, everything that we've shown you on Alert, any activity is complimentary. Yeah. So to do that, that particular item with that cruise for that price, it is just incredible value. And Amazing. I don't think 789 will be around for long. No, so no get I don't on think it will. Get it booked, will. Up, <laughs> get it booked <laughs> up. After that one, we had the next fabulous cruise was on Quantum of the Seas um, out in Asia, out in China. So a couple of uh, three nights with the Wendy Roo tour in China first. 3rd of October 2020, it's one off date, 1679 per person, that's from that price on there. And it wasn't too much more to go up towards the balcony as well if you want to. Um, a real bucket list cruise on there. 3rd of October 2020, phone in and book that one for sure. And then Anthem of the Seas was back with the Seven Night Norwegian Fjords from Southampton, uh, starting at just 825. And again, you can secure your deposit from just a pound per person and then finally last but by no means least last but no means least jewel of the seas out in the emirates 21st no sorry not 21st of eight it's in 23rd of february 2020 765 this is the deal of the night this one i promise you phone up and book this one if you want some winter sunshine well we are we are sadly out of time that has been so exciting hasn't it really has i want to keep <laughs> going <laughs> yeah um Michaela, thank you so much. No, thank you for having us. It's, it's uh, been great fun and yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot I, of exciting I, things to talk I'd about. Say, so. I say I can highly recommend Royal Caribbean. Uh, my first cruise was with them, then I've never ever looked back. And remember, you'll be entering into prize draw just from booking a cruise tonight, won't yeah, you? Yeah, that's right. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I thought you were going to model the dressing gown. Have you not got it's, time now? It's too fluffing. I can't. It's no time. Oh, In we, January, uh, I promise. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that to Glenn next week. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you so much. Dan, yeah, we'll see you, you soon. Um, don't go anywhere. Don't forget to book your Royal Caribbean cruise. Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications. And if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.